at 70. Ready? There's a reason he's called a stonefish. I wonder why. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean, this is Dream Cars Daily, and I've been busy. Right now, I have no staff at my auto glass shop. Uh, the labor market kind of sucks, so I've been working way too much, and it means I don't really get to film as much as I want to, but we do have some really cool stuff coming up. The Lotus Clutch is finally getting done. I'm super excited for that. We're gonna get that back out on the road. Uh, we've got stuff with the ZL1 coming up, and we have packages. So this one, this one says next gen speed. Okay, yeah, they, they packaged it well. I actually know what this is. My amazing fiance got me stuff from next gen speed for the Camaro. <clears throat> so that is what this is. We have carbon fiber. One part of the ZL1 that I don't really care for, there's just like aluminum trim on the, on the door pads and this will cover those and leave the really cool light strip. So we should probably install these before we do anything else today. Besides open other packages. She didn't buy me this. No, I think that was their their birthday gift to you. Oh, happy birthday. Carbon fiber shift knob cover. Oh, but it says ZL1. That's gonna cover the ZL. Carbon fiber is cooler. It's okay. It is. It wasn't supposed to be here for another week. It was supposed to be delayed. People have been asking for updates on fish tanks. Um, we've got a couple of different aquariums going. The saltwater tank, I wanted a DC pump for it. So this is a DC pump that does like, I don't know, a thousand gallons per hour or something, which will turn over the 90 gallon tank 10 times per hour, which is overkill, but it's overkill is better than under, at least with fish. And this, I believe is a new sponsor to my channel. All right, guys, Paul Rich watches. I always wear my Apple watch everywhere I go. I love expensive watches. I just don't want to spend the money for expensive watches. $20,000 for a watch seems extravagant to me. That's $20,000 I could spend on my cars. Paul Rich watches are uh, partnering with the channel. They hooked me up with this. Check that box out. That's pretty sick. They're partnering with the channel and they're actually going to offer you guys a discount code so we'll put that in the link in the description below but these watches are anywhere from like oh that's heavy that's got some weight they're anywhere from like 300 to 700 dollars depending on the watch that you choose uh, with the discount code it'll be significantly less than that so please check them out in the description below uh, they offered to partner with the channel they haven't ever worked with the youtuber before um, they've only done instagram stuff so obviously i'll be uh, you yeah, know, posting some stuff on my Instagram about them too. We're gonna have to get all the packaging off before I can show it to you. I'm loving the carbon fiber. They have a bunch of different styles. They have iced stardust, which I think might be the next one we do, and then a frosted stardust. We'll put those like maybe right up there or up there so you can see them. They've got a bunch of women's watches too, so maybe, yeah, Rebecca can get something in the future. Anyway, partnering with Paul Rich, Love these guys, love what they're doing, love the product. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to actually be able to wear a nice watch that isn't just an Apple watch and not have to spend ridiculous amounts of money to do it. All right, everyone, go to the Paul Rich website, check out their products, and then comment below, which watch do you think I should get next? Which watch do you think you would want? And then, you know, of course, use your discount code and pick up a watch. And with that, we're off. We're not doing a bunch of car stuff lately. I just, I haven't been able to, but we're gonna be doing some. However, today you're gonna go fish shopping with me. We need more fish and everybody wants updates. Let's give you some updates. This is the planted tank and it's obviously very planted. This tank has to be trimmed at least once a week. Otherwise, everything in here gets completely overgrown. This was just trimmed yesterday. We kind of just like, clear cut the top third of this. And uh, that, that's the only reason it's not overgrown. It kind of looks like a jungle, but it's like a full on jungle otherwise. This 
is the saltwater cube. It is uh, currently in what they call the ugly stage. It's very, very common when you start a new saltwater tank that you get all of this algae. It comes and then eventually it goes. Uh, we've got a whole bunch more stuff that we still have to do to this. We have added already, I think, 10 fish. These adorable little guys right here. Say hello. <laughs> our purple fire fish and a regular fire fish and then some sort of a clownfish I cannot remember. Oh, clownfish now have like a bunch of different variations. <laughs> variations? Is that what they're yeah, calling I think, them? I think that one's a black storm. Okay, so probably a black storm clownfish, a royal garama back there. There is a puffer fish in here somewhere if he wants to come out and say hello. There's a damsel back there. Oh, there's there's the puffer. Maybe we can zoom in on him. He's just a little guy. And we just added the anemone today and some zinnias and some zoas. For those of you that know fish tanks, you'll know what all of that is. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do in this tank, but we're definitely getting there. All right, before we do fish shopping, this is the part I was talking about, this aluminum right here. I'm not a fan. Even this is polished. This is like a brushed and then this is polished and it just doesn't work for me. So my thought was that this will look a lot better. I dig that. We just got to get it all lined up perfectly and stick it on. Next Gen Speed actually does a really good job with this. They get you all set up. Basically, you're set up for success when you get the part. She says I have to tell you what I'm doing. We're just going over it with an alcohol pad to remove any oil or dirt or anything that could be here. I know, I know this is supposed to go on. I'm hoping this has to come off. I probably should have read the directions. Don't do what I do. Write that down, write that down! I'm gonna pull and pray. See, I know what I'm doing. There's a lot of paper to pull off, but it's gonna stick really well. It's not gonna go anywhere. Life hack for installing carbon fiber overlays, have small hands. I don't. Wow, that looks so much better. <laughs> I, it does, the carbon fiber was necessary. Just getting rid of that aluminum. What a difference. You know, they, they use the good adhesive. They, they're using 3M here. I know. The name brand. <laughs> the name brand adhesive. It's... All right, last strip. Is it all gonna be, is it all gonna come off in one? No, there's two strips. What? Right there. I think mine's gonna be better than yours. You're probably right. All right, do you, do you need me to help you put the piece no, back on now? It definitely goes like that, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, you're definitely fired. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you did need my help. Nope. So now the question is, do we call Next Gen Speed and get all the carbon fiber? Because they have a carbon fiber surround for this, for these, basically anything I want carbon fiber on the interior here, they have it. We gotta do this. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. They how send me you... a free birthday gift and- I know, how could you forget? Okay, we'll put it on. You gotta clean your grimy little hand dirt off of it. That's not my grimy hand dirt. You're driving this more than I am. <laughs> That's true. Oh, beautiful. You guys, out of all the cars that I own or have owned, this one is probably the most ridiculous, at least driving wise. This car, so we're doing 70 right now. And if I do this, Much of that you could see but we just got up to <laughs> we just got up to probably a hundred ish right there <laughs> i was filming you should have known it was coming seriously sideways multiple times yeah the on dry roads yeah it's 70 degrees out dry roads let's do that again round two That Infinity M45 in three different colors thinks he's awesome. Oh, Why? I, I told you it's always a Honda Odyssey, didn't I? It is always a Honda Odyssey. Always an Odyssey. There's, 
there's the always an Odyssey on our way. In the left lane. Funny, I told Rebecca, it's always a freaking Honda Odyssey that's in your way. And this guy doesn't even know what lane he wants to be. I can't even get around him because he's like, no, I want both lanes. I still need to drive. Oh, you don't like me sideways? Uh, with with yeah, only hand. one hand on the wheel? No, I prefer two hands. Yeah, we're at 70. Ready? on camera. That was a hardcore <laughs> sideways. Traction control kicked in. You okay over there? <laughs> you know me, I'm giggling. I'm enjoying it. That was the most sideways this car's gotten at that speed. That was a little... That was a little sketch. That was sketch. <laughs> so they used to call the old Vipers the Widowmaker. And uh, if this car didn't have traction control, I'm sure there'd be a whole lot of dead people right now. Like, I have decent car control, but right there, without the... Uh, are you literally doing foundation while holding the camera? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be able to multitask in show business, come on. And here's the funny thing, this car is still, at this point, completely stock. Yeah, you wanna make this like a thousand horsepower. <laughs> All right, you, you guys heard it here first. Rebecca's cool with dying. Only in like a cool way, though. I'm not gonna get taken out by a Honda Odyssey. <laughs> Don't die at the hands of a Honda Odyssey. Die at the hands of a thousand horsepower Camaro. Ziola, yeah. Then, then we're good. Mm -hmm. Or a Lamborghini, I mean. Either of those can be arranged on this channel. All right, guys, we're on our way to the fish store. You're gonna go buy fish with us. Flame Angel, he's pretty. Oh, what's that guy? That's a neon dotty back. That's the one I like. Huh. Are they nice? Uh, or are they buttheads? They're nice to everybody except other dotty backs. Pretty. I like you. Um, I like that one. The longhorn <laughs> cowfish. <laughs> nice. There's a reason he's called a stonefish. I wonder why. <laughs> I love the juvenile angels. I know, that's beautiful. <laughs> I don't think he's doing well. You'd be cool if you were healthy. Maybe he's taking a nap. Yeah, we'll go with that. Nap time. We got three fish and a shrimp. And now they get to move into the tank. Or not. Why does he stick to the walls? Go in the net. <laughs> Stinker. I, yeah, you got, got him, you got him. Go, go, go. Go find somebody to clean. Ass next. Whatever you catch next. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> the rass. Oh! <laughs> so pretty. Is that shrimpy? It's your turn to go into the net. our first shrimp <clears throat> and for the I say the best for last Go. oh I got it I'm gonna come out of the net my friend he does not <laughs> want to come out <laughs> I think he's angry so he's all spiked up he's like no nah, I'm just gonna stay and please <laughs> he has himself stuck He's biting the net. <laughs> hey everyone, thank you for watching. Please pick up some merch at purekalamazoo.com slash dreamcars. Like this video and stay tuned. We have a lot more coming. Finally, Lotus Clutch is getting done. We're going to tune the ZL1 and uh, start doing some mods to that and uh, a few other things. I think we'll end the video here and uh, we'll leave you with the fish eating. <laughs>